Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Number 19 Chanticleers Pound the Panthers, 16-7 Coastal Carolina University Athletics Atlanta, the number 19 nationally ranked Chanticleers from Coastal Carolina, beat the Georgia State Panthers, in the three-game opener of the Sun Belt Conference Series Friday night, as the visitors in black and teal, had 16 runs on 19 hits, in the 16-7 street scored victory over the Panthers in Atlanta, Georgia, with 16 carries, the chance improved to 14-0 when they hit double-digit runs in a game and 15-1 when they hit six or more runs, CCU batted hit two home runs again, and pushed his record to 12-2 this season. When he recorded two or more home runs for the game Coastal ended March with a 12-3 chant overall this season, while senior Graham Brown had four hits, including his sixth home run of the season, fellow senior Zach Beach hit his second Grand Slam of the year, super senior Nick Lucky drove in three RBIs, and sophomore Ty Dilley added two more RBIs in the blowout win, the chance totaled .432 that night but were even better with two outs, and hit .500. CCU also hit .348, with runners on base, and an even better .375, with runners in scoring position. Junior Bryce Schaefer earned the win from the bullpen. The left-hander came on in the fifth inning, and fired 3.0 complete innings, allowing for three runs with three hits, one walk and three strikeouts. Schaefer was followed by back-to-back -back scoreless innings by Liam Doyle and Davis Tyndall. Shore starter Matthew Potok gave up four runs with seven hits, a walk and four strikeouts, in the first 4.0 innings, and six strikeouts over 4.0 innings. Coastal pounced on the Panthers early on with two straight innings to start the contest with two runs to back base hits from Chad Bourne and Bodine. With runners in the corners, Lucky singled through the right touchline to drive in Bodine to put the chance 2-0 up midway through the first inning. After a 6-4-3 inning double through the shore defense in the bottom of the first inning, the chance doubled their lead to 4-0, with two more runs in the top of the second on a single victim bunch. 